What's up, guys and gals? This is Interface. What's up guys, and in this video I have a multitude of fans that I'm going to use to cool off my PC. The way to do this obviously is to open one side of your PC and then put a house fan on the side of it to cool it off. It is the best way in terms of cheapness versus a buying a PC fan because PC fans are way less effective of blowing air out than blowing air in from a house fan. So you see I have opened the side of my PC and the one I have right now is a 9 inch mainstay fan um, which I recommend sort of. It's kind of loud but not that loud and it's kind of powerful but not that powerful. And here it is on the side. You can actually hear it. It's actually way louder in the video than it is in real life. But that's how cameras work. And here's a oscillating table fan from Mainstay. But it's not that fast so it's not a high velocity fan it's more for quietness if it if you get annoyed by sound or you're doing a podcast or whatever this is the fan you should get but it isn't gonna make your pc that much cool it's just gonna cool off just a tad bit it's still better than any pc fan you can buy that one right there is a 20 inch oscillating standing fan with Pull off your PC way more and it's way quieter but it's still not high velocity so if you're worried about sound don't get any high velocity fans if you don't care about sound and you're doing rendering I recommend getting one of these three or one of these two on the bottom two the 12 inch comfort zone fan or the 20 inch main sink fan problem with the 20 inch is it's so big that you have to have a bigger desk to put it but if you're doing rendering or game design or anything like that which is going to put load on your pc the 20 inch is almost overkill it's it's insane even on the lowest setting the 12 inch is on the high setting really good for cooling off your pc for rendering and all that other stuff and it's small enough to fit on your desk so i recommend that for most people but if you have a big desk get the 20 inch and I guess you can use it for yourself in summer times if you're not rendering. But that thing is way overkill. I mean, even on the lowest setting, it's going to cool off your entire PC. And on the highest setting, it's insane. So if you're rendering for days and days and days, I recommend getting that. Thanks for watching my video. This is Interface. Follow me on all these social media. And if you like my videos, like, share, and subscribe.